Good morning, good morning, you guys. This is the Guru. Got a news update. Could Coinbase be hinting at something? Let's take a look. This is via MSN.com. Coinbase CEO sees revenue falling 50% or more on crypto route. Coinbase uh, uh, CEO Brian Armstrong said the cryptocurrency exchange's revenue is set to be cut by half or more this year as declining prices and the collapse of rival FTX rattle investors' confidence. The rapid downfall of FTX capped what was already a brutal year for the cryptocurrency industry with speculators in retreat as prices of some of the most frequently traded tokens tumbled. Coinbase's shares have fallen more than 80% in 2022 and the company's third quarter revenue was about one-fourth of what it was during the last three months of 2021 when the price of Bitcoin peaked. Last year in 2021, he said, we did about $7 billion of revenue and about $4 billion of positive ep epita. And this, don't ask me what that means. I, I Google it. And this year, with everything coming down, it's looking, you know, about roughly half of that of last year, Armstrong said in a wide-ranging interview on Bloomberg's David Rubenstein show. show. Uh, when asked about the company's revenue, in addition Comments provided after the interview, a Coinbase spokesperson further clarified that they expect 2022 revenue to be less than half of 2021's. Coinbase has previously indicated it may see a 2022 loss of no more than $500 million based on adjusted EBITDA, a measure of earnings. Okay, EBITDA is a measure of earnings that excludes certain costs like interest and depreciation. The company didn't previously provide a full year outlook for overall revenue, but Armstrong estimate is in line with the approximately $3.2 billion expected by analysts, according to data compiled by Bloomberg. The turmoil surrounding FTS deepened the pal hovering over the industry, with confidence already battered by the previous bankruptcy of lender Celsius. Another lender, BlockFi, went bankrupt last month, citing issues tied to FTS collapse. Armstrong said the demise of SBF's FTS appears have been the result of a massive fraud rather than mismanagement or accounting mistakes. As uh, Sam bateman free has conveyed in interviews since the bankruptcy, SBF has not been charged with any wrongdoing. It appears that they took customer funds from the exchange and actually co-mingled them or moved them into their hedge fund and then ended up in a very underwater position, Armstrong said, and that was, I believe, against their terms of service and against the law. Prior to uh, his downfall, SBF advocated for crypto-friendly policies during his friendly visits to Washington, D.C. and was a major donor to the congressional races. I think there are some really serious questions to be asked now about should some of that money be clawed back because it appeared that it was stolen from customers. Despite the fallout from FTS, Armstrong said he plans to continue advocating for the industry on Capitol Hill and predicted that crypto-specific legislation could still get enacted over the next year. Regulations around stablecoins, centralized exchanges, and custodians, as well as clarity on the definition of commodities and securities should be among top focus, he said. There's probably still 20%, I would say, of Congress where they're either just very hostile to it or are just ignorant of it, but it's not the majority It's not the majority view at this point. He said of cryptocurrency, we can ho hopefully get something there in the U.S. and then go for the rest of G20 as well. So you guys, make sure y'all check that out. This is via MSN.com. CEO says his revenue, uh, the Coinbase's revenue, going to be down 50% or more. So I think we in for a rough, at least for a rough first six months uh, of 2023. Y'all bow down the hatches. This is a good room. See you on the next one.